under pressure no more time can we make a move overthinking you and i what do we have to lose hey y'all welcome or welcome back to gentle charm budgets okay so today we are setting up for july and of course i'll speed you through this but let me tell you what we're doing first we're doing the grease theme um i've got these from sweet rt designs i will try to remember to leave the link below here's some more and i'm also going to use some of the happy planner sticker books um and pull some little ice creams and that sort of thing out of there to go with these because this has ice creams on them so um, I just thought they'd kind of go cute together. The kit's really small, so I just thought I would pull a few stickers from other places. So let's jump in and get started with this because it's going to take us a while. And I hope you guys enjoy.
Okay, so we finished this, and it's just kind of simple. Um, we have our debts lined up. We do have uh, my niece's wedding is on the 1st. My father-in-law's birthday is on the 15th. And, of course, we've got 4th of July. Um... We'll come back and talk about the budget in just a minute. We have our spending tracker and our weekly um, tracker. Our checking account tracker. And then our weeklies. This setup worked really well for me in June and I just kind of liked it. So I just repeated it this month for the month of July. Okay, so let's talk about our budget for the month of July. Let me grab the calculator. Okay, so I don't think we'll have any rollover money. Let me see, maybe zoom you in a little. Um, for our weeks, I'm planning $1,200. Um, as of right now, we haven't paid any bills in June for July. So we haven't paid any of the July bills yet. So we'll leave that at zero. My sister pays the utility bill and we're just gonna say it's 450. Um, my niece and her boyfriend pay rent on a house they're renting from us and it's 650. 
My son pays for his cell phone bill and his cell phone, which is $96. Um, this son pays for his car insurance and his cell phone bill, which equals up to be $300. And then my mother pays for her cell phone. So for the month of July, we are working with $6,352. For our household expenses, we have two house payments, our internet, Netflix, utilities, our cell phones, and State Farm. For a total of $4,387. Oh, wrong place. That leaves $1,952. And then for our <clears throat> debt payments, we have 86, 69, 75, 44. And these are all basically credit cards. So we're going to say $900, subtract that from $1952, which leaves $1,052. We're going to put um, $200 on our shell card, which is our gas. Groceries, we'll get... Um, $800 and then we will do $52 let us see that is going to equal $1000 right there so we're going to budget zero for these. So that should be $1,052. And that leaves a zero base budget. So we won't be budgeting anything for these either. But that's okay, because that's just the bare minimum budget of what we should bring in for the month of July. Um, it don't look great, but it is what it is. So um, that's everything for this time. Thanks for sticking around. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. It really helps me out. And I hope y'all have a great week and we will see you back here. We'll see you back here for a paycheck budget later. Bye. Can we make a move? Overthinking you and I. What do we have to